All right. So we are coming up on 12 noon. Our little noon whistle just blew here in the lovely town of River Falls. So welcome everyone to our presentation today. Um, thank you all for joining us. We're here today with Frank at Disney and he is going to share with us some fun and exciting info from Disney Cruise Line. So hi, Frank. Good afternoon. All right, well, um, I will help monitor questions and comments and that sort of thing. So um, go ahead and take it away, Frank. Thank you. Sounds good. Thank you, Melissa. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about the incredible Disney Cruise Line. Whether you've sailed with Disney Cruise Line before or looking to sail with Disney Cruise Line in the future, you'll have an incredible vacation aboard one of our magical ships, purpose-built for the entire family to have an incredible cruise vacation. So today, I want to give you a little bit of an overview of what makes Disney Cruise Line so special. And of course, should you have questions today, please don't hesitate to ask them in the chat box. And I'll do my best at the end to endeavor to answer them for you. Please note that when you are planning your magical Disney Cruise Line vacation, you do always want to work with your trusted travel advisor, like your travel professionals here at Travel Leaders Market Square Travel. They're available to assist you with everything going on on your travel plans, but more importantly in today's world, how to navigate all the current policies and procedures with the health and safety protocols that are taking place throughout the world. So let's talk a little bit about Disney Cruise Line and what's new and coming. Um, as of right now, we do have several new ships on the horizon coming, including this summer, we will be launching the Disney Wish um, from Port Canaveral setting sail in July of 2022. Shortly thereafter, we look to be welcoming two additional ships to the Disney Cruise Line fleet. Right now, we currently have four ships in service with the Disney Magic, Disney Wonder, Disney Dream, and Disney Fantasy, the Disney Wish coming online this summer of 2022, and then two additional vessels for your enjoyment in the near future. So what makes Disney Cruise Line so unique? And what is incredible about Disney Cruise Line is how so much is included on your Disney Cruise Line vacation. And so let's run through what's all on board and what's included on board. First of all, when you sail on a Disney Cruise Line vacation, we have world-class entertainment. Of course, the Walt Disney Company is one of the world leader, leaders in family and other entertainment with Marvel Studios, Star Wars, Disney, Pixar, just to name a few. On board all of our ships, you're going to find two spectacular theaters. One, the Buena Vista Theater. The Buena Vista Theater is our movie house, and this is where we play first-run movies from any of the Disney family of movie chains. So if there is a brand new Marvel film out, the day that it opens in movie theaters or on Disney Plus around the world, it will also open on Disney Cruise Line ships. Or if there's a new Pixar film, or if you're a fan of Encanto, when Encanto opened, it opened the same day on board the ship. And of course, all of the films are listed throughout the time frame while you're on board, and they are all included in your voyage fare. So you can go and check out as many films as you would like during your cruise vacation. Now, you may be wondering, Frank, I don't go on a cruise to watch movies. And I thought the same thing. However, it has been amazing when I've been on board the ship and a new release comes out like West Side Story. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I want to see that. So I end up making time and going to see the newest releases that are all out and on board the ship. And when there is a premiere, we do an entire midnight red carpet event for that new movie, like the latest Star Wars movie, the latest Disney movie, the latest um, Pixar movie, and more. So you get the opportunity to see the brand new latest and greatest in our catalog of films that come out from all of the Disney movie houses. 
But we also have a second theater on board called the Walt Disney Theater. And this is where we host our Broadway style productions. Every night of your voyage, you have the opportunity to go see entertainment, live entertainment on board in the Walt Disney Theater. And we have a ton of originals from Tangled the Musical to Aladdin the Musical, Beauty and the Beast the Musical, um, and so many more, including Frozen and others. But we not only have an incredible repertoire of our Disney movies that are available, but there are special stage shows specially designed for Disney Cruise Line, like Disney Dream, an Enchanted Musical, and more. Plus, on select nights, you may have other live entertainment, such as comedian, variety acts, and more, with your welcome and closing shows. So every single night you have the opportunity to take in a production, a Broadway style production in the Walt Disney Theater. Now what's unique with this is the Walt Disney Theater was designed to hold half the ship. So we have two show times each evening. We have an early show and a late show. And this ties into our dining. We have early dining and late dining. If you're dining in the early dining rotation, you'll go to dinner, and then afterwards, you'll go and see the show. And if you're in our second dining location, you'll go to the show, and then after the show, you'll go to dining. Now, for those of you traveling with small children, what I really like with this one is often we wanna make sure they get exposed to these incredible production numbers. And if they wait until after dinner, often they're falling asleep or they might not make it to the show. So what we've got for our young ones is normally you want to select second dining so that you go to the show and then afterwards go to dinner. During second dining for our kids with the kids club, which we'll talk about the kids club momentarily, their meals will be expedited in the dining room. The kids staff will, um, the kids club staff will come halfway through dinner service, take any kids that are looking to head to the children's activity programming. And then as adults, we continued our um, meal service and enjoyed the rest of the meal service. So it's a great way. It's called the Dine and Play. And that's a great option for families to be able to see the show, go to dinner as a family, and then the kids get some time in the children's activity programming. And as well with Disney Cruise Line, we continue to win award after award for offering some of the best Broadway style productions at sea. Now, another unique factor for Disney Cruise Line is, of course, our spacious staterooms. Disney Cruise Line was designed from the ground up to be for families. And with families in our stateroom, you need a little bit more space for the entire family to be able to um, fit into a stateroom. So here you're going to find that all of our staterooms can accommodate either three, four, or five guests in our staterooms. And you'll notice that we've got our platform beds for you to be able to store all of your luggage underneath. We've got our seating area with a twin bed and then another twin bed for our staterooms at sleep four that pull down. And for our staterooms at sleep five, a fifth pull down bed as well. The room can be divided by a convenient curtain. But we also have an industry first in what we call our bath and a half configuration. Now, this is on all of our deluxe staterooms on our ships. So we only have a very few that only have a single bathroom. All of the rest have what we call our bath and a half. This is where one side has the toilet and a sink, and the other side has the bathtub and a sink, so that multiple people in the morning can be getting ready. As well, all of our staterooms do have a bathtub. So if you're traveling with younger travelers that aren't yet used to showering, you do have the option of bath time instead. And of course, our private island, Castaway Key. Now for all of our sailings that sail out of ports of call in Florida, we do head over to our private island, Castaway Key. Castaway Key is an incredible oasis for the entire family. And just like on board the ship, where we have spaces dedicated for children, spaces dedicated for adults, and spaces dedicated for the family, Castaway Key is set up for the exact same way. 
When you arrive at Disney's private island Castaway Key, we dock right at the island so that you can simply walk off the ship. You can take beautiful paths to all the different beaches and activities, or if you would prefer, we also offer trams that shuttle you from the different points with three different tram stops throughout the island. You can take a tram all the way to the end, which is called Serenity Bay, and this is our adult oasis. Here you'll find a beautiful beach with private secluded lagoon, a wonderful um, bar. Also, this is where you'll find adult only cabanas and adult only massage cabanas and a restaurant exclusively for adults 18 years of age and older. So for those that are looking for a little respite from the kids or traveling without kids, we have Serenity Bay. Over at the family beach, we also have activities for the family. On Castaway Key, there are enough beach chairs and umbrellas for every single guest on board the ship so that you've got a place to unwind whether you wanna be at the adults beach or the family beach. On the family beach, you will find incredible snorkeling with a wonderful snorkeling course, as well as some hidden treasures that you may find while you snorkel along with Pelican Plunge, pictured here, where you swim out to an incredible platform with water slides, dunking stations, and more. At the Family Beach, we also have our restaurant there called Cookies for you to be able to dine. And at the Family Beach is where you'll find our children's activity programming. So the kids can check into our children's activity programming on the island as well. Every time we visit Castaway Key, for those that are looking for a little activity first thing in the morning, each visit we do start off for those that would like to participate with the Castaway Key 5K Fun Run. So it is a run or walk, if you so choose, and everybody that participates gets a bib and a medal. Um, and all of your food and beverage, non-alcoholic beverage on the island is included in your voyage fare. So you can dine, enjoy the beach, enjoy your beach chairs and umbrellas at no additional cost. Now select activities on the island, should you wish to do parasailing or water skis or um, jet skis and more, are part of our shore excursions that you can purchase at an additional charge. Let's talk about what really sets Disney Cruise Line apart is our themed children's activity center. Now on board Disney Cruise Line, we have children's activity center for every age room done, of course, with all of our incredible Disney experience and storytelling. So for our youngest children, our kids that are under the age of three and or not yet potty trained, we do have Small World Nursery. Small World Nursery is an hourly area for you to be able to drop off the young ones and um, reservations are needed for that. And there is an hourly charge for It's a Small World Nursery. For all of our children over the age of three that are then potty trained, we do have our different activity programs. So we have our Oceaneer Club, which is for our younger children are typically um, three to seven or so, six, seven year old. Our Oceaneer Lab, which is for our seven to 12 year olds. Edge, which is our tweens club, which is for our 10 to 13 year olds. And then for our 14 to um, 18 year olds, we have the Vibe. Now for our younger Oceaneer Club, Oceaneer Lab, Kids traveling with their siblings can fluctuate between the two. So if you're traveling with a younger child and they want to go to the Oceaneer Lab or the Oceaneer Club, they can go willy-nilly between those. The Edge, um, our tweens club, you do need to be a tween, but our 10 and 11 year olds can still go down to Oceaneer Lab and Oceaneer Club if they so choose. And then our teens club, that one is hard and fast. Um, you must be 14 to 18 to be in Oceaneer Lab. Um, once you are 18 and above, you can then participate in all the ac adult activities on board. Now, all of our kids clubs, excluding um, 
the It's a Small World Nursery, are part of your voyage fair. And they are open from 9 a.m. until midnight every day. Now, right now, with the current health and safety protocols in place, um, due to social distancing and cleaning, cleaning protocols, we do have time caps for the amount of time children can be in the club before returning to the club. Once those are lifted sometime in the future, we will go back to children being in the club, um, available to be in the club from 9 a.m. till midnight every single day. Um, and here, of course, we have all sorts of incredible counselors with incredible activities for each age group to keep them engaged and having an incredible time. I know personally, when I've traveled with my god kids and my nephews, once they've been introduced to the club and met their new group of friends, really, we could never get them away from the club. So it is really an, a great opportunity. And on board our current ships, the children's activity programming has their own dedicated deck on deck five, which is exclusively for all of the children's activity programming for them to enjoy. Dining. Dining on board Disney Cruise Line is like no other cruise ship. We've introduced what is called rotational dining. So each night of your voyage, you're going to rotate from dining room to dining room. And like traditional ocean cruising, you do have two set dine times, either main dining or second dining, or early or late, whichever way you prefer to call it. Once you have your dining time that your travel professional and you will secure before arriving, once on board the ship, you'll be advised of your rotation. The first night you come to the dining room and are seated at your table, you'll be introduced to your wait staff. You'll meet your maitre d', your server, and your assistant server. They will get to know you, what your likes are, what your dislikes are, if you have a food allergy, what your allergies are, and more. What is so great with this is each night that you rotate from restaurant to restaurant, that wait staff go with you so that you don't need to relearn, have your wait staff relearn all of your likes and dislikes each night of your voyage, they automatically know. Now, my father, who is an avid Bud Light drinker, loves this because typically by the second evening of our cruise, the wait staff know to have his Bud Light waiting at the table for him when he arrives. So it is a great thing. And the kids as well love it because the wait staff know exactly how the kids like their ketchup, if they like it in the shape of Mickey, or what their favorite dessert is, and so much more. So it really is a great opportunity for you to bond and get to know your wait staff. And typically on our farewell night is a night to take pictures and say farewell to our wait staff who stay on the ships for quite a while. So often I've gone back and have had the same servers time and time again, and it is a really great way to enjoy Disney Cruise Line and unique. But not only is it unique that we rotate from restaurant to restaurant each night of our cruise and your wait staff go with you, we do have incredibly themed dining experiences for the entire family to enjoy. Our signature dining experience on all four of our ships is called Animator's Palette. And although it may be different in how Animator's Palette functions on each of the four ships, they do delight and surprise each and every guest on board. Here is um, Animator's Palette on board the Disney Dream and the Disney Fantasy, where you can see Crush comes to life as he's um, swimming around the restaurant and interacting with individual tables and guests throughout their experience. And on select voyages as well, you'll even have your own hand in creating some animation and watching it come to life during your dining experience. Other restaurants like Tiana's and coming on the Disney um, Wish, Arendelle and more, have an incredible experience with live music and more while you're dining. And then we do have our traditional dining rooms as well. Now for adults that are looking for a unique experience and a one of a kind experience, we do have select adult only dining that you can opt for, including Palo, which is our Italian steakhouse, or Remy, which is our French inspired restaurant on board select ships. 
Now for our specialty dining, which is exclusively for guests 18 years of age and older, dining reservations are required and there is a nominal fee for these locations. Your regular rotational dining is included in your voyage as well as all of your non-alcoholic beverages during dining. Now, we talked a little bit about the kids only spaces. I forgot to mention the kids only spaces. Not only do they have deck five dedicated for them, but we do have a dedicated children's only swimming pool as well as a family pool for the entire family. And then we do have our adult only spaces. So all of the family when you're traveling and creating magical memories together, sometimes needs a little break. And so the kids may be enjoying the children's activity center and adults, we may be wondering then what is there for us to do? Well, there are plenty of activities and spaces exclusively for adults on all four of our purpose-built ships. Pictured here is the Quiet Cove swimming pool. All four of our ships have an adults only swimming pool area as well as a bar facility for um, quiet relaxation and to unwind and enjoy. Here you'll find hot tubs, swimming pools, often live music during the day. You'll find your bar, you'll find the Quiet Cove coffee shop, which has um, delectable delights throughout the day, as well as specialty teas and coffees, and then as well as a fully stocked bar. We do have our spa area, the Census Spa on all, all four of our ships. And the Census Spa is also open exclusively to adults, with the exception of a few teen areas that we've got for some teen spa treatments. Um, but of course, if you want to get your hair done, if you would like to get a manicure, a pedicure, or if you want a full massage, there is a ton of different spa options for you in the Census Spa. As well, we do have in the Census Spa, the adults only fitness center. So the fitness center offers fitness classes and fitness um, access all throughout the day, from yoga to stretching to spin class and more. Most of the programming in the fitness center is just part of your voyage fare. Now, of course, if you would like a personal trainer in the fitness center, that is an optional charge. And for spa services such as massage, pedicure, et cetera, there is an additional charge for that. But if you'd like to go to spin class or if you'd like to go to sunrise stretch, all of that is included in your voyage fare and is part of the adult only experience. Now as well, not only do we have those areas exclusively for adults, I did just mention that we do have two adult only dining options on the Disney Dream and Disney Fantasy. On the Disney Magic and Disney Wonder, we have one adults only dining option um, with Paolo and then Remy as well. And adults have, we have our adults only lounge space in the district. Here you'll find different, our pub, which offers different trivia challenges throughout the day, as well as different activities into the evening. You'll find our piano bar. You'll also find our nightclub with dancing and entertainment. So while the kids are in the kids programming, adults, we can be in the clubs having a great time ourselves. No matter where you are on the ship, there are plenty of spaces for adults, plenty of spaces for kids, and then of course spaces for the entire family to come together and enjoy. Speaking of coming together and enjoying, we do love our deck parties aboard Disney Cruise Line. And one of our most popular deck parties on most sailings, not all, is our Pirate's Night. Pirate's Night is when the ship is transformed into a swashbuckling event, um, starting during the day and into mealtime. You'll have your Pirate's Meal. We usually have a Buccaneer show, and then it concludes with fireworks at sea. Disney Cruise Line was the first cruise line to introduce fireworks while at sea, and Pirate Night is always wrapped up with an incredible fireworks display. Now, a pro trip that your travel professional would share with you is if you are one, on one of our majority of sailings that do include Pirate Night, please be sure to include your pirate gear for you and the entire family. As our guests truly get into getting dressed up and, event, and enjoying this event, 
in full pirate garb. Um, or if you forget to bring your pirate gear, don't fret, our gift shops on board the ship sell plenty of pirate gear in order to get decked out for the evening. Now for our cruises to Alaska and to Norway, um, due to our proximity to shore and nature, both locations have requested that we not participate in fireworks um, to not disturb the native wildlife. So for those instead, we host a different style deck party. In Norway, of course, we welcome Frozen, a deck party where, of course, we make it snow right there on deck. And in Alaska, we have our Pixar Pals party. So no matter where you're sailing, there is still an incredible deck party for you to enjoy on in the evening of your voyage. All of our other voyages though, around the world right now do include a pirate night. Then as well, depending on when you're sailing, we do love our specialty themed cruises. We've now announced for 2023 and currently sailing are several of our Marvel Day at Sea. Here you can be exposed to an entire day of the Marvel Cinematic Universe coming to life on board Disney Cruise Line. So what does it mean when we say Marvel Day at Sea? This is when you're doing a select sailing that is a Marvel Day at Sea sailing. Your sailing will be completely a Disney Cruise Line vacation like any of our others, where you're going to meet Captain Mickey or Captain Minnie. You're going to be engaged with all of the Disney magic. However, on your sea day, the day that we are not going to be stopping at a port of call, we will be sailing the entire day, the ship is transformed into your Marvel Day at Sea. Starting in the morning with Marvel music, Marvel character interactions, Marvel shows, Marvel movies, Marvel, Marvel. You will have all of the Marvel superheroes there available for you all day long for you to be immersed in Marvel. And new, just announced for 2023 on select sailings, we are going to be doing our Pixar Day at Sea. So just like Marvel Cinematic Universe coming to life on our Sea Day, on select voyages in 2023 with Pixar Day at Sea, all of your beloved Pixar characters, like Joy and Sadness from Inside Out, Doug from um, Up, and so many more from all of the, oh, The Incredibles, and so many more, from all the beloved Pixar films on our Pixar Day at Sea. And for those of you that are looking, we still have a few more sailings this year where we do have Star Wars Day at Sea as well. So talk to your travel professional if you're interested in one of these specialty cruises with our specialty Day at Sea. But not only do we have specialty Day at Sea events, we also offer seasonal events. On select voyages, guests can experience special shows like Halloween on the High Seas. This is typically in early September through Halloween, where the ship is decorated in all of its Halloween finery, including the Halloween pumpkin tree, and there's trick-or-treating and so many more incredibly themed Halloween events. Then, starting in early November, right after Halloween, through Christmas, we have our very maritime Christmas cruises. This is where the ship is then all decked out in its holiday finest with Christmas carols, Christmas trees, and so much more. So if you're looking to travel in the fall or that early winter season for Christmas, we've got both available for you. Both Halloween on the High Seas and Very Merry Christmas take place on both on all four of our ships during those time frames. And for those of you that would like to mix in the magic of a land and sea vacation, you can do so. Your travel agent can set up a Walt Disney World vacation followed by a Disney cruise vacation sailing out of Port Canaveral, Florida. Here you'll have an incredible experience by visiting the Walt Disney World Resort and getting to live all of the magic of the 50th celebration at the Walt Disney World Resort this year. And then we have Disney Cruise Line transportation that whisks you directly from your Disney Walt Disney World Resort Hotel out to Port Canaveral, where you can then board your Disney Cruise Line for your cruise vacation from Port Canaveral.
Most families choose to do either three days at Walt Disney World and a four day cruise or four days at Walt Disney World and a three day cruise for that perfect one week vacation with Walt Disney World and Disney Cruise Line. But for those of you that would like a little bit longer vacation, it can be completely customized to where you can do as many days as you would like at Walt Disney World and then choose from any of our sailings that you would like at Disney Cruise Line or vice versa. But talk to your travel professional so that they can help get that set up for you so you can have a complete worry-free vacation with Disney Cruise Line. And of course, when booking a Disney Cruise Line vacation, your travel prof um, professional can not only set up your transfers from the airport or Walt Disney World Resort Hotel to the pier at Port Canaveral, but they can also help you with your airfare to any of our destinations, whether you're doing a land and sea vacation package from Central Florida, or you're sailing from one of our other incredible destinations that Disney Cruise Line sails from. Now, Disney Cruise Line sails from ports all around the world, um, from California to Florida to New England and beyond. So talk to your travel professional for where you may want to take your family on their next Disney Cruise Line vacation. We look forward to welcoming you on board. And that concludes all of the information I have on an overview of Disney Cruise Line today. And I'll open it up to any questions anybody may have. While we wait for questions to come in, thank you so much, Frank. This is such a great presentation. It just reminds us all of, I mean, I don't know if anybody on the call here has been on a Disney cruise, but I know for me, I, I really just love everything that's included and, you know, to kind of run through all of those things, um, you know, when you're comparing apples to apples to something else, it, it just it's just heads and shoulders above um, many, many others out there, um, especially the Broadway shows. Um, you know, Frank was kind of talking about the Broadway shows. And uh, if you have never been to a Broadway show, this really, really actually is very much like a Broadway show experience. You know, it's kind of like dinner and theater and, and that kind of thing. So um, I know for us, we really loved that. Um, and they just keep reinventing it. You know, there's just different ones coming all the time. So, you know, you go on a different cruise and it's, you know, different shows. Um, so, so that was, so that's really, really great. Absolutely. And, and I know that, I don't know um, if you caught him, Frank talking about the Pixar days at sea. Um, that is brand new and that is so exciting. There's a lot of characters and, and fun and exciting things that are coming that um, you don't really get to see that a lot of time, you know, joy and sadness, Doug from up, they don't come around as much as, um, you know, like Mickey Mouse would. And so, um, you know, kind of seeing some of that you know, the Pixar characters come out um, kind of like their Marvel Days at Sea. I, I, I'm so excited for Pixar Days at Sea. <laughs> Me too. It is going to be a great, great add-on. There's just so much to do on a Disney Cruise Line vacation that sometimes you even forget that you're going to different countries and ports of call because you want to do so much aboard the ship. Yep. All right. Well, well I'm just adding. Oh, oh, let's see. Ahead. I was just going to say, I'm just adding um, our contact information into the chat so that if anybody wants to reach out to us specifically, um, you know, this, we have a team of um, team of experts that uh, sell, specialize in Disney travel, and, um, and that would be the way to reach one of us um, that way. So thank you again, Frank. Right. And then, Melissa, the question that's in there, I think, is for you. I think that would be best answered by you. It. I actually don't see a question. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay, where can we find the price of travel agent assistance? Yeah, the best way is just to reach out to us directly um, because it depends on what we're assisting you with. If it's a full package um, or if it's just the cruise or if you need airfare or you maybe need accommodations before or after, we'd like to customize that with you. Fantastic. Yeah, and I can't recommend enough using a qualified travel expert for whether it's a Disney Cruise Line vacation or any vacation. They really right now in today's ever-changing travel environment are the ones that have access to all of the information, particularly the health and safety protocols that are required for wherever you're traveling in the world, whether it's with Disney Cruise Line 
or anywhere. So make sure you're talking to your trusted travel advisor. They're there to help you and navigate the ever-changing world and incredible world of travel that is out there to explore. Great, all right, with that, we will conclude. Thank you again, and thank you everyone for attending. Thank you all, have a magical day.